just want to know whose pastor is this? Whose pastor is this? I hope nobody that I know this is going to this church. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Takoria and I am from Kansas City, Missouri. So I felt the need to make a video on something that I've seen scrolling on Instagram. I've seen it on DL Hughley's page. The pastor going off on his congregation because they didn't buy him the gift that he wanted. Uh, I let y'all listen to what... See, that's how I know you still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. I ain't worth your St. John Nick. Y'all can't afford it, no how. I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. I ain't worth your Prada. I'm not worth your Gucci. Mother, ooh, I'm saying this, and I promise you, Deacon it's not with respect of won't. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Movado, you can buy a Movado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. Okay, now that you hear what he said, it's like, ain't no way. Ain't no way a pastor is going to talk to his people like that. But you know what? I'm not surprised. Because I've seen other videos like this. I've seen all kinds of videos. But let's just keep it on this. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And then you got the woman hollering. It's the woman hollering in the background for me. Like, okay, you hollering, but you didn't buy him the Mavada watch either. So what did you do? What did you give? I can't. Like, I cannot. And he issued an apology. My name is Carlton Funderburg. I'm the senior pastor of Church of the Well right here in Kansas City, Missouri. I want to take this moment to address the now viral video clip of me from a sermon given August the 7th, 2022. Though there is context behind the content of the clip, no context will suffice to explain the hurt and anguish caused by my words. I've spoken to those I am accountable to and have received their correction and instruction. I have also privately apologized to our church who has extended their love and support to me. I'm privileged to do life with them. The video clip does not reflect my heart or my sentiments toward God's people, yet that's not discernible in the clip. Therefore, I offer this sincere apology to you today. No context could erase the words I used. I apologize to all who have been hurt, angered, or in any way damaged by my words. The zeal of any presentation must be tempered with love and respect, and that was not displayed. I apologize to the church at large for any undue scrutiny I have subjected you to. I apologize to every preacher and pastor who must stand up under the controversy that I have caused. To those who know and love me, thank you for your support. To those who now know me because of this video clip, I regret that your first impression of me is one of anger, hate, and resentment. My actions and my words are inexcusable. I offer no justification or defense. That moment was mishandled and mismanaged. I deeply regret this moment, and I solicit your prayers and your forgiveness as we grow forward. Thank you. God bless you. Go with God, and he'll go with you. But even with an apology, sir, you said what you said already. So it is what it is. That's how you feel. 
when you gave your apology, you're reading it like someone else wrote it for you. It's not coming from the heart. It doesn't sound genuine at all. So I'm not buying it. Like, save that for somebody else. I'm not buying it. And you, what people fail to realize is that people can say sorry all day and do the same stuff over and over again. One day of talking crazy like that, but it just seemed like that's how he's used to talking to his congregation. I don't know, because I don't go to the church, but what do y'all think about that? Like, it really just blew me, because I grew up in church. So growing up in church, I seen a lot of things that I knew wasn't right. I just like, if y'all have Prime Video, y'all should watch this show. It's called Contradiction. And that is a really good show. A really good show. Y'all should watch that. I'm not gonna say much about it, just watch it. And, you know, think for yourself what you think about it. But, anywho, the apology seemed fake to me. He, you should never be talking to your friends, your family, let alone your congregation like that. Especially if you're supposed to be someone who's coming from love, who is moving by God's word. But he just sounds a hot mess. He sounds greedy. I couldn't do it. I would have had to walk out. And he like, is this, is this my first day at church here? And I see something like that. I would be like, oh no. Clutch my pearls, grab my purse, and walk out because that was a hot mess. I just, I can't. Like, please tell me what you think of this mess. Like, and since I am from Kansas City, please let me know. Anybody go to this church? Like, where y'all at? <laughs> y'all know somebody that goes to this church? Like, I really feel. Like, it's not all on the pastor, it's on the congregation, too. I don't put everything into man, like, I'm more spiritual than I am religious because, like, you cannot put everything into a man. We are all human. Nobody is perfect when it comes to stuff like this. It's a touchy situation for most because when someone shows you who they are, you should believe them. It doesn't matter who they are. If they show you who they are, then the title of who they are shouldn't matter. So anyways, I was just coming out here to give my little two cents about it. Comment below. Let me know if you watched it, if you've seen it how you felt when you seen it, like, this apology, what do you think about the apology? Do you think the apology is real? Did you forgive him? Um, if you were a part of his church, would you forgive him? Me, no, don't like what he said, don't like his apology. Um, I would forgive, I wouldn't forget. And with forgiving, that doesn't mean like, oh, I'm gonna go back to his church. I'm going to um, act like it never happened. No. Forgive means that for me that you just let it go. Release from it, but you're not gonna be just like, oh, it never happened. Forget it out my mind. Because to me, that wouldn't be smart. So, mm -mm. I'm gonna forgive, but I'm gonna remember what you said, always. And I wouldn't be able to sit at the church anymore. Where do they go from here? How do they move on? What is next Sunday sermon gonna be about? Because to me, it sounded like he was, in his apology, kind of happy, like, ooh, I'm getting fame off this, I'm going viral. It's not good. So anyways, leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts. So my Instagram is tacoria.chalet and TikTok is tacoria.chalet. 
So you can follow me on TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. Talk to y'all later. Bye.